Changing people's financial behavior is difficult, but it is possible. One, one company that was looking to reduce energy consumption in San Diego tried to change people's behaviors by using signs with one key sentence. What exactly was that sentence? Well, it turns out that signs about uh, protecting the environment or looking out for future generations or signs that focus on the amount of money that people will save were not effective in reducing consumers' energy consumption. Instead, the message that worked the best was a simple one that read, the majority of your neighbors are undertaking energy-saving actions every day. A similar message focusing on what our neighbors are doing was used in the UK to uh, promote British taxpayers to pay their taxes on time. That simple change pointing out what other people are doing led to an increase in collection of about 29%. Psychologist Robert Kialdini, who worked on both these studies, calls this phenomenon as social proof. He says people look to what others do in order to guide their own behavior. It's, it's no wonder then that we base a lot of our own fiscal decisions on what other people do. And unfortunately, what we most easily observe are other people's spending behavior. <clears throat> not exactly their savings behavior. It's easy to notice if your friend goes on a vacation or buys a new car or, or a glowing pair of shoes. And with social media, you can even keep tabs on the shopping habits of the rich and the famous whom you don't even know personally. Now, if someone wins the lottery, we'd expect them to spend more money, and they do. But what's really interesting is what happens to their neighbors. And a recent study found that close neighbors of lottery winners, are, uh, lottery winners are more likely to borrow money, spend more on goods, and eventually declare bankruptcy. In fact, the larger the lottery winner, the higher the rate of bankruptcy among the neighbors of the lottery winners. Basically, the lottery win winner's behavior is rubbing off on their neighbors. We're also aware of consumer spending, but what we are not aware of are other people's saving behavior. So let's lift that veil. You can start with just a couple of friends. Instead of asking them where they bought their new bike or, or, the, or how was their best time of the year to, of, to France, and, uh, and instead of asking them all that, we can ask them if they paid down their mortgage or if they have an emergency fund or if they have paid off their student loan, something like that. Tell them also about your own financial situation. To really make this a social affair, it is good to start celebrating paying down your debts. Maybe you have seen the viral video of a happy dancing woman who paid more than $200,000 in, in student debt. She was able to achieve this incredible milestone because she was bold enough to ask her colleagues and her industry peers how much they earned noting the thousands of dollars that she was missing out on and finding a job that would pay her her fair uh, market rate. I think that video gained this uh, fame because it's not often that we get to see what, what people have saved and how they're doing it. But it actually should not be so rare. By having check-ins with your friends, you can help make a trend. I, I remember when my friend paid off his student loan. He, uh, he, he wished he would have celebrated the, that milestone with his friends. But at the time, uh, he, he was kind of brainwashed into thinking that uh, he shouldn't talk to his friends about money and that was a very scary subject and all that. It's not actually. So start the con conversation today. Research has shown that our social bonds makes us healthier. So it's time to harness our social ties to boost our financial fitness too. Your future self will thank you.